Fans of 90 Day Fiancé grow to dislike cast members for many reasons, but one surefire way to enrage viewers is exhibiting contemptuous behavior. There are many of the show's stars who throw scorn, at TLC, at their exes, and even at the fans themselves. The show attracts an array of entertaining cast members who don't hesitate to share their opinion, no matter how nasty or misguided it may be. Many cast members have graced the screen throughout the franchise's run, and they can't all be fan favorites. For some of the franchise's stars, disdain from fans breeds contempt, but for others, the main source of rage is the network and producers of the show. For whatever reason, some cast members have more beef than others, and these are some of the worst. Big Ed Brown. Although Ed started off as a sympathetic figure, many fans quickly grew to despise him for the disrespectful way he treated his ex-girlfriend Rose Vega. Still, Ed stuck to his lovelorn persona, even after he moved on to a new girlfriend, Liz, on 90 Day, The Single Life. However, off-screen controversies, including a leaked call where Ed was abusive towards Liz, proved that Big Ed isn't the nice guy he would have viewers believe. Stephanie Davison. Stephanie may have contempt for her ex-boyfriend Ryan Carr, but based on his behavior it would be entirely justified. However, Stephanie has shown significant disdain for the network after her time on the show. Stephanie claims that TLC mistreated her and the 90 Day Fiancé crew stood by as she was abused by Ryan. The season 8 star has cut ties with the network and didn't even attend the tell-all because she wanted to share her real truth on Instagram. Andre Kastravit. Throughout his time on the franchise, Andre's scorn has been focused solely on his wife Libby's family. It's no secret that Libby's siblings can't stand Andre, and they've never held back their opinion that he is selfish, lazy, and entitled. But Andre has reciprocated with equal contempt for them as well, and he has repeatedly gotten into screaming matches with Libby's sisters and brother. It's gotten so bad that many fans think Andre will never make peace with Libby's family. Jess Caroline Hanvey. On 90 Day Fiancé. Happily Ever After. Jess dated famously disliked cast member Colt Johnson, so it's not hard to see why she feels such disdain for him. Colt eventually came clean to Jess about how much he cheated on her and how he never really loved her, and it seems that Jess may still be salty about their relationship. Although she and Colt have been done for a while and Jess has gotten married, she still showed up to the single life tell-all and seemed bitter and angry at Colt. Tariq Myers Tariq and his wife Hazel Kagaliton haven't always gotten the warmest reception from fans, but it appears that the only beef Tariq has is with his fellow Season 8 castmates. After his season, Tariq went off on the cast, calling them fake friends and two-faced, while claiming that they joined the trolls on social media trying to tear him and Hazel down. It's clear there's no love lost between Tariq and the Season 8 cast, and Tariq isn't afraid to tell it like it is. Lita Margarita. From the minute she appeared on 90 Day Fiancé, fans couldn't stand Lita and felt she was rich and spoiled. But it was her contempt for her then-fiancé Eric's daughter that viewers really couldn't abide. Lita was immediately antagonistic towards her soon-to-be daughter-in-law who lived with them and demanded that Eric kick her out of his apartment and stop paying child support. 
It's no surprise that she's one of the most despised cast members, though Lita doesn't seem to care. Andrew Kenton. On 90 Day Fiancé Season 8, Andrew had one of the most memorable relationships, mostly due to how disastrously it ended. As time goes on, it's clear that his ex fiance Amira Lalisa has moved on, though Andrew may not have. He's gone to great lengths to try to expose Amira's alleged lies on social media, and there are several Instagram accounts devoted to trashing Amira that many fans think are Andrew in disguise. Andrew also has significant contempt for TLC and has claimed on multiple occasions that much of his and Amira's storyline was fabricated. Brittany Banks. Love her or hate her, Brittany is one of the most devilicious cast members in the franchise, and when she's not showing off on social media, she often takes time to trash her ex Yazin. Brittany and Yazin had a terrible relationship that stemmed from incompatibility. After the couple broke up, Brittany has made shocking claims about Yazin and has dragged him for everything from the fake gold jewelry he gave her to their sex life. Both Brittany and Yazin seem to be moving on, but Brittany still can't help taking jabs at Yazin from time to time. Michael Yesen. Michael caught a lot of flack from fans for his relationship with his much younger wife Juliana Custodio, however, the couple is still happily married. Since their time on the show, Michael and Juliana have attempted to distance themselves from TLC, and Michael even called the franchise, trashy. The contempt that Michael feels for the show is palpable, and it's clear that he and Juliana didn't have the best experience. They seem to be doing well with their lives post-show, but it's safe to say that Michael wants nothing more to do with the franchise. Between pressure from the network, bad relationships, and highly critical 90 Day Fiancé fans, it's not surprising that many of the franchise's stars would feel a little contemptuous from time to time. Sometimes it's justified, and other times it's misplaced, but there are a lot of cast members who refuse to hide their disdain for their exes, in-laws, and the show. Though there are many reasons why these cast members feel such contempt, the one thing they have in common is an inability to keep those feelings on the down low.